two, one, and you are live. Wait a minute, is the name Miss Rhoda Young? Miss Rhoda Young well, live. Ooh, I'm a Miss Yoda. A Miss, you see how I say Yoda? <laughs> trying to say what I'm looking at. She's Rhoda. intelligent. No, see, let me tell you something. When I say Yoda, that means the intelligent one. Now I'm saying Miss Rhoda Young. Miss Rhoda Yoda. Yeah. Thank Put you. it down. I don't want no trouble, y'all. This is her with <laughs> no trouble. Venue 757 4582 George Washington Highway. We got Jeezy coming in here. You got to get your tickets because we're going to sell out. This is how we do it, our doggone thing. Rhoda asked me a question. You know, we were talking about man, mankind. And, and where you used to work at? Oh, I used to work at 103 Jams for years. How many you know, years you do that? Uh, about 12 years at 103 Jams. Mm -hmm. I did a Hot 102.1 to follow. Short little stint with 99 WNOR. Then I ended up uh, with uh, 957 RB for a little bit with Karen. Parker Chesson and another guy by the name of Buster. Then I ended up with 91.1 at Norfolk State University. Then right now we're with uh, 88.1 FM from 2 to 6 on Sunday at WHOV Radio at Hampton University over with Jay Lang doing our doggone thing. And let me ask you this. You say you have your own show too. You, when do you come on with your own show? What, what time do you do that? That's from 2 to 6 every Sunday. 2 to 6 every Sunday. Now if they want to follow you and your show, how would they go about doing that? Uh, our heart radio, baby. That's how we do our dog own thing. WHOV radio. All you got to do is plug in. WHOV radio. It comes up live. Awesome sauce. Awesome sauce. Yes, ma'am. You had some things. I say you're a powerful man with a lot of knowledge. Remind me of Solomon in the Bible. You oh, know, Lord. very knowledgeable. You got a lot of stuff <laughs> inside you. Can you tell me some things that you want to just get off your chest? Well, 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 first of all, I got one more announcement. Okay. To get off my chest. Okay. The 13th of July, come see me right here at the venue 757. Bruh Man will be hosting the show. We got Laugh and Lenny out of D.C. And you got Angus Black opening the show. And me doing my hour special. Sending it straight to Netflix, baby. That's how we do it, our doggone thing. So we doing it right here in Virginia like that. They know they doing it in L.A. and New York and D.C., Chicago, Florida even, baby. We doing it here too. Talk about Atlanta. We are Atlanta. You feel what I'm saying? We doing our doggone thing. We're representing with the real right here in Hampton Roads, and people got to get to know what we are. Hampton Roads got some of the best entertainment you ever seen before in your life in the history. Not just history of Virginia, the history of America. Now, we're going to get to that Solomon thought. Okay. You've done some good good advertising. We need to know that. And how can they come to the venue, the 757 venue, one more time just in case they missed it? Hey, that's 4582 George Washington Highway. You can listen out. You can see us on Facebook. You can check us out anywhere, and especially Miss Rhoda Young. That's how you do yeah. it. You want the fastest way to get there, go to Miss Rhoda Young. She's going to keep you up with all the updates, yeah. all the things popping. She's going to be like, Rhoda, what's going on? Be like, hey, man, what you doing? I'm like, girl, you know what we're doing. So you know what's <laughs> popping. This is how we roll it, baby. All right, all right. Right, let's go for it. Now, what's on your mind? Tell me some good stuff. Something make me think. Something make me scratch my head. Something make me want to go home and say, "What did Mr. Herman teach me today?" And make me meditate on it. Well, you know what? It's real deep. They say by 2000, okay, 61 percent of our black males would have had or will have a homosexual relationship by 2000. Wow. That leaves 39 percent of heterosexual males. Now, I'm not opposed to anybody and what you choose to do. But everybody's fighting what they choose to fight for, so I'm just fighting for my heterosexualism. Okay. I'm a heterosexual man. And in my position, no female, no male that's homosexual represents my thoughts. So brown men that are heterosexuals, they have to stand up because if you ever want to count for anything, you got to count, you got to be in that number. You got to look at it like this. When a brother's trying to speak, a lady be like talking over him lots of times. You be like, wow, man, what, what's, what's wrong? Whenever you, when you, a kid says they want to do something, they say, go ask your mother. They never ask, so ask your father. You feel what I'm saying? Right. So men's opinions are being placed back in the back burner. Okay. Real talk. And I'm just being real. We got our ladies that are natural ladies. We have our feminist group ladies. You have your LGBTQ ladies. Then you have your gay men. That's one group together. Okay? okay? Then I got heterosexual black men by themselves still fighting a war against heterosexual black men. Things are not changing. So in order for us to build, we got to grow. That's all I'm saying. Knowledge is power. And for black men to understand who they are, our heterosexual men, you've got to learn your history so that you can become more productive in society and not get ate up in the game. Hey, man, that was powerful. Yeah. That was powerful. And we would like to thank you for everything you taught us today. Mm -hmm. And that's brain food, food for the brain. Something to think about, you know. 24-7. Yeah, something really to think about. So you're seeing the heterosexual male have it three, four times as hard because there's not enough of them out there anymore. That's right. Heterosexual men are struggling. 
just to have an opinion, just to have a thought. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm, I'm not, I'm saying I'm not opposed to anything. Whatever right. you choose, that's your business. But as a heterosexual male, we have no position for our point, period. I'm not trying to disrespect anybody. Right.